Hi right, guys, so here we are at the UK Games Expo, the UK GE, and I am here with this handsome young man from Juggernaut Wargaming with his associates. <laughs> so, for the benefit of the viewers at home, what's Juggernaut Wargaming? What are you doing here? So, the Juggernauts are a club based in Leicester, right. in uh, the Midlands. We are also host of the Bolt Action Podcast, the Juggernaut Bolt Action Podcast. Which some of you may listen to. Which some of you may listen to. If you, you might know these guys from it as well. Yeah, if you don't, go out and check us out. We are the number one competitive Bolt Action tournament organisers out there. Yeah. So we're here at the uh, UKGE today and yesterday as well, running mm -hmm. our first two-day GT. This is the first time Juggernaut have run a two-day event. First time for a two-day. We've ran about 10 single dayers. We've done, we've done, we've done two we've dayers, done two not days under, under branded. Yeah, under different names. Yes. yes. Yeah. Not, not as but as, as a team, you've got a lot of experience. Yes. Um, so we're hoping to get you on the live show in a couple of weeks yes. to talk a bit more about this. As I've got to say, a competitive very different from what we play on the channel. Yeah. As I walked down there to pick you up now, I saw the Stuart with the machine guns. Yeah. Never shipped anywhere. Never works in history. Tournament players love that stuff, though, don't it's they? It's in the rules. <laughs> it's in the rules, so it's allowed. Yes. Uh, you that you were uh, recently won an event with a five flamethrower list. Uh, well, I, I've won quite a lot of events, but one of the ones I ran that list at was the World Team Championship. Nice. We, as a team, us three and one of our friends, we came third in the world. Nice. And we, uh, one of the lists I was running has five flamethrowers, two Stuarts, multi launchers. Uh, All the stuff you never see on and, modeling for advantage. And I won six games out of six at the best event in the world. So, so I've only got some um, uh, B roll footage of the team. That you played. Yes. Tell us a little bit about in a, in a tournament situation like this, terrain. It's a big part of the game. It is. It's it's one of the biggest deciding factors in a game. Yeah. If it's if it's unbalanced, it completely ruins a game immediately before yeah. you've even rolled any dice. Um, another thing that we like to do is playability. Now the game. The boards that you've got here in front of you are absolutely exquisite. They they're look, beautiful. They look amazing, but they're, but they're rather unfair. But they are a little bit unfair, but they're nightmare to play on because dice never roll flat on them. Yes, um, all these all these tufts. Yeah. Uh, this is obviously uh, Duncan's boards, Duncan's Band of yeah. Bobbers. I think people have seen these before. Yeah. So whilst they are amazing, we try to get them as fair and balanced You're looking for easy gaming surfaces. to play as possible. Yeah. Yeah. But they still they look pretty nice and you've got some different settings. Yeah, we do. We, tr we try and vary up and have one from every kind of setting. So, you know, a, a Stalingrad type of board, a Japanese jungle kind of board. Yeah. Uh, various middle European villages, stuff like that. Yeah. And we try to get as many as possible because when you're a player at an event, you want to have as many experiences as possible. Your variety. Playing on the same Stalingrad boards five games is yeah. a bit boring. Yeah. So. so is that our most important as uh, important as pairing? It's like who's played on which board? Exactly, yeah. I mean if you've got a board which is completely open on your side and lots of cover on your opponents, you're gonna get absolutely smashed. So yeah. you need to try and make them as balanced as possible. There, there was a big public announcement address yeah, there. Sorry about that. You were just saying about uh, the boards and how you didn't want players to go away from that game feeling, I lost because of the table yeah. under my deployment zone. You want it at the end of the game where your opponents can talk to you and go, oh mate, do you remember when you rolled that six and blew up my tank? Yeah. You don't want it to be the mission ruined the game or the terrain ruined the game. Mm -hmm. and so everyone has a fair, fun experience and yeah. at the end of it, everyone can walk away happy and just talk about the match itself rather than everything that leads up to it. Yeah, rather than the kind of the circumstances around yeah. the match. Yeah. All right, so uh, if people are interested in that uh, that hyper-competitive end of the, uh, the ball action gaming, have you got any events coming up? Uh, well, we've got a event coming up in the autumn, which will be our finest hour, I think it's called. Okay. Um, we're also looking to get a, another event in early next year called Not Five Steps Back, because we ran Not One Step. Right, 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 yeah, yep. You I know will. how it is for bolt action events, you choose a historical saying, yes. make it fit your theme, and then yeah. roll with it every time. Okay. And if people want to take part in the events that you run, is Juggernaut Wargaming, where do they find you? Is there a website or an email address? Or So all of the events we run for Bolt Action are done through our podcast page, which is Juggernaut Bolt Action Podcast. Juggernaut Bolt Action Podcast. Yeah, you can find us on which Facebook. Which is a podcast that they do as well. It is. Talking yeah. about Bolt Action rules and gaming. Yeah, so we talk about 
mostly we review the events that we go to, the events that we host. Yeah. So, for instance, our next episode will be on our experience of the UK GE. Right. What the tournament so was about like. These here. handsome guys you met from Modeling for Advantage, that kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we, we talk about things like we do army book reviews, tell you how to get the best out of your army. Probably. Uh, Probably not a very different angle from, from what we'd approach it yeah, from. But not that's not as much history as you might yeah. want, but we, yeah. we, actually we started to add a little bit more historical into our... Um, cool. Well, if you want somebody life. on to tell you why everything that people choose is wrong, I might be your guy. Uh, look, yes. so that's Juggernaut Wargaming. They've got a podcast. What was it again? It's Juggernaut Bolt Action Podcasts. So I have to check them out on most of the common podcasts, but that's not on yeah. YouTube. That's on a podcasting no, audio platform. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whirling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you.